Cat Viegas found the love of her life in 2011. A year later, they married and eventually built a family together. But like a lot of Americans, the Vancouver woman found her life turned upside down by the coronavirus pandemic. She lost her job and hoped the federal stimulus check would help her family get by. But the money never arrived. Instead, the IRS denied payment. I did not believe that it could be true. I never imagined that my government would see me as any less than any other American citizen. A little-known provision in the coronavirus relief package denies stimulus checks to U.S. citizens married to undocumented immigrants. In Kat's case, she would have received $1,200 to help cover her bills and a $500 bonus for her son. Instead, they got nothing. It's unacceptable to assume that my government would draw distinctions between which citizens have more value than others. For Kat, it's especially painful because her husband is on a path to citizenship. He's got a work visa, a social security number, and a wife and child that are American citizens. He's here, he works, he goes to college. He enjoys everything about the American life except for the American freedom of knowing our security for the future. At least two federal lawsuits have been filed seeking an injunction blocking restrictions on stimulus payment. It's estimated nearly 1.2 million American citizens are married to undocumented immigrants. Many of them are families like cats struggling to get by in this crisis with no help from the federal stimulus fund. I'm an American citizen. My son is an American citizen. And we have no less value than anyone else who is. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.